program ahead with a welcome address by Managing Director of PGDC. Thank you, sir. Over to Sri D. Balaji, sir. Please close the gate. The meeting is in progress. Good afternoon, all. where it stands, what we have to do, what are we supposed to do. And similar to 
what are we to do how can the government intervene either to facilitate or to help out the bookings and other aspects and what we expect from the individuals entrepreneurs and what the entrepreneurs expect from the officials so this is actually an interactive session so this is one aspect uh, i welcome you all and first and foremost uh, this is actually an inhibition or a barrier so where you feel namma ponuma enna pannuvaanga enna pannuvaanga so first and foremost i welcome you all to this wonderful event and uh, openly speaking after lunch i think most of them would have had a snap or a siesta so <laughs> still they are here so welcome you all and uh, first and foremost i welcome honorable uh, secretary sir so he has been of immense uh motivation so he has been constantly uh, giving us an intrude into our thought process so what to do what not to do how to do there have been uh, instances there was an interview by nelson mandela so he asked uh, um, how do you become great so he said it's my it's my it's my habits from my father which has made me do all these things so his father was a tribal leader so what he does is he everyone sits into round so that was one reason why we requested to keep it round table so that it doesn't uh, differentiate between the uh, other aspects of life so everyone are equal they present the ideas and second point his father always spoke the last so whenever i see sir uh, it remembers me he allows us to speak uh, come on you tell me what to do what not to do so suddenly he comes out with an idea no 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 this is wrong this is right you do this so that has been mentoring us for a long time and thank you so much for your presence here sir after lunch time similarly farooq sir so he had been of uh, help openly speaking uh, as every individual goes through a different uh, struggle process and difference of i mean different I mean, uh, struggleful times ptd was, PTD was uh, going through a struggleful time last 6 7 months back so he was the first person to come to the rescue and he said he gave an opportunity sir we'll go for a program so i said uh, sir uh, i have to speak with my team he said no 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 sir your team is very good there is no problem so we can go ahead and i i thank so much for the first opportunity which he had given me and most probably i think uh, we have been into lot of issues for the last 4 to 5 months and we have been trying to change lot of thought process and uh, welcome you and uh, thank you so much for organizing such an event in pondicherry sir once again welcome you all it's a uh, floor discussion it is nothing to do a session or something like that it's not a class it's to discuss on the processes which you go through maybe on as an entrepreneur you might be so there might be so many issues which you would have find it difficult so this is an discussion forum so thank you so much for having come here sir. thank you thank you
நாங்கள் மீட்டு போய் பசங்களை கூப்பிட்டு வர போவோம் ஸோ பெட்டர் வி வாஸ் வி வேர் ஐ ஹாப்பி பீப்புள் ஸோ எனிவே ஐ டோன்ட் யூ ஹாவ் ஏ வெரி டஃப் ஜாப் ஸோ வி ஷுட் கீப் என்கேஜிங் தன் சி ஆஸ் ஏ covid if you see our tourist inflow every year we are getting almost 12.5 lakh people per year on an average foreign tourist is around uh, you know uh, 1 lakh people covid time la we had a huge uh, uh, you know reduction in the tourist inflow but this year up to august itself we got 12 lakh people 12 lakh within 6 7 months you know december alone pathinga na i think we might cross we might touch 20 lakh 20 lakh tourist is huge for pandicherry i think everyone would have felt every weekend uh, you know there is no parking space uh, you know from gori medu to providence mall it took 45 minutes uh, i think i don't know how pandicherry would happen in next 10 20 years infrastructure is one part which which we will focus uh, but carrying capacity no no means how much we are able to uh, you know uh, can we carry this 20 lakhs is almost like double of our population our population is 15 lakh you know including all the regions so 20 lakh is like it is so per tourist per person per year in pathina india la maximum is in pondicherry of course delhi has 1 crore tourist but the population is 2 crore so when when you go in this ratio you know we don't have that much of facility to cater to the people so i think hoteliers i think you know every booking ala ungal nalla thing i more than me you are the first person to judge whether your business is going up or going down so over course of time we will increase so government is are we are aggressively pushing our tourism we are we are we are actively engaging everywhere we have been to wtm so there are few two three things which we need to upgrade ourselves one is our skill the morning also i was discussing with you no uh, you know when, when you ask someone ninna ke sir who la na ninna paakradhukke enna illa edume illa abinu most of them i heard so at at that stage itself we should not discourage the tourist compare with kerala compare with gujarat compare with other states how they promote even for a smaller how many of you have seen mangrove forest in nithirila arikamedi ethin per poyirkinga nithirila so villanur kovil vagur kovil so even a small lake they are promoting so that is how mysore la or karanji lake nu onnu irukum it was nothing only the lovers used to go at one point of time so kali sendra but now it is become a very very you know tourism na ella andu poranga so because people want people don't want to go to normal kind of a uh, prominent road ethinadi povinga ethinadi vanda pala ange porada so they want to experience different thing so tourist inflow is assured in pondicherry for next few years the growth rate in pathinga na 8% nammalku growth rate what government is planning is we have some big ticket reforms we want to grow at 10% annually so nammude gdp in pathinga na in the entire pondicherry gdp is 40000 adale tourism sector alone is giving up to 10000 crores 25% of our gdp is tourism adanalada the government odi first ide tourism na industries vera edala irukku but tourism is a priority even covid time last year entire ella pakkamu there was a lockdown but pondicherry there was no lockdown just to favor our tourists and whatever we do you are the primary stakeholders you are the first beneficiary so skilling is important i think you are addressing that rendavathu usually in the bnb la it is all unorganized or come many would have not registered i am sure evlo per register irpinga nu theriyala idu illame innu romba per irupanga many don't want to come forward industry la idoru prachana irukku pandicherry la porthom ya namba dispose pannom you know and the one feeling we will know you should come forward it's a publicity it's an opportunity for you to showcase your uh, you know so and so feeling la kalila early morning we were discussing the same thing entire today it's a tourism day for us also we are meeting different different uh, so government is aggressively pushing for this and every weekend we are having an event here in pondicherry 
இவ்வளவு இவெண்ட்ஸ் நீங்க பாத்தீங்கன்னா கம்பேர் டு அதர் ஸ்டேட் நோ அதர் ஸ்டேட் ஹஸ் சோ மெனி இவெண்ட்ஸ் வி ஹவ் ஹண்ட்ரட் டே பெஸ்டிவல் ஒன்று எடுத்து வந்திருக்கோம் மீன்ஸ் இஃப் ஹண்ட்ரட் டேஸ் இன் த சென்ஸ் ஆல்மோஸ்ட் எவ்ரி வீக்கெண்ட் தேர் இஸ் அவெண்ட் ஹேப்பனிங் இன் பாண்டிச்சேரி ஐ டோன் நோ ஹவு மெனி ஆஃப் யூ ஆர் அவேர் ஆஃப் தட் so there is some sort of a promotion is also required from our side so we should ensure that every year inga vanda inda event nadakkum celebrity cricket match nadathuvom ona but there were no crowd people were not aware no public no publicity our publicity is minimal la nam pandicheri kalangi yaru povamatta events ku sedra patna ve ayyo avaru vaenda sir irukku so that is that is the drawback of pandicheri so of course we need to promote more and more we are planning for a film festival uh, film festival kind of thing which we were discussing at least in the february month or film festival so these all will help our tourism ana idellam panni namba mais event namba pannom beauty conference one nadathana ipo we did it good you know like throughout all the uts people had come so these are all few few areas of our focus medical tourism is another untapped potential துபாய் ஸ்ரீலங்கா இருந்து சென்னை வராங்க பாண்டிச்சேரி ஹாஸ் நைன் மெடிக்கல் காலேஜஸ் யோசிச்சு பாருங்க இந்த மாதிரி ஒரு சின்ன ஊர்ல ஒன்பது மெடிக்கல் காலேஜ் நோவேர் இன் இந்தியா நான் ஃபர்ஸ்ட் அலியர் ஐ வாஸ் செக்ரட்டரி ஹெல்த் ஃபார்ட்டி பர்சென்ட் ஆஃப் அவர் பெட்ஸ் இன் பாண்டிச்சேரி வேர் ஆக்குபைட் பை நான் பாண்டிச்சேரியன்ஸ் ஸோ அப்படின்னா அவ்வளோ பொட்டென்ஷியல் நம்ம கிட்ட இருக்கு மெடிக்கல் டூரிசம் மேங்களூர் ஃபோக்கஸ் பண்ற மாதிரி எக்கோ டூரிசம் மைஸ் டூரிசம் so we have written to all the ministries and all the na inga pona kuda na solradha enna na panicherla event nadathanu i think i requested you also next south indian hotel association meeting should happen in panicheri not in shangri la of bangalore yes sir na panicherla nadathanu at least more event should happen next time they will come with their family so that's how tourism promote promotion will happen so we had a tie up with the with uh, we are also planning for a tie up with our uh, tourism students also so these are all some areas my tourism na sonna mari medical tourism eco tourism so these these are should be our focus areas and i request all all the participant to you know get registered i think you like panvinga nanigira so no it's world related tourism sector is one which is booming now pharma pharmacy and pharmaceuticals tourism of course food industry cosmetic industry these are the four five industries which are uh, you know globally which is the fastest growing industry in, 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 in the world so we should tap that potential i request everyone to please listen to our uh, entire uh, you know session uh, so thank you for all the arrangements i think pdtc is doing wonderful job in fact it's not we this uh, is initiative i think now pdtc is also going on profit uh, so indina பாண்டிச்சேரி <laughs> so i i i i wish you all the best and uh, ensure you are uh, there doing you know thank you so as we one thing, to... one, one thing uh, one thing which i was sorry uh, uh, see the part i was just discussing in the morning hours also there are lot of events that happen in wtm berlin you know itp berlin indha mari velinaadu na velinaadu nalla வெளிநாடுகள் <laughs> <laughs> we request you to participate ena vera urla na they are forcing the hotel association hotel people uh, to come and uh, you know take i think 25000 rupees ena vaangranga kerala forest all no yeah ninga na sonna kerala is much more more 25000 tamil nadu 25000 naanga edhu charge pannadilla we request you vaanga sutti paarunga enga stall la ninga irunga 
So because government cannot say a particular hotel, no, we can just make an arrangement for you. We are only a platform. I request you to come there, participate. Your business will grow. We want your business to grow. And the money are Only the government can think good of good for you. So we connect, we are ready to connect the dots. So I request you all people to come and participate in all the tourism shows, wherever it is happening. I don't know. About we have a very unorganized tourism association, means hotel association. So maybe you can revamp that. Uh, you know, because it's more of lobbying, no? Association on the lobby. So come with, uh, come as a grievance. So come as a grievance, we are ready to sort it out. And you be part of our, you know, tourism grow out, you know, first beneficiary is hotel use. No one else. Ilya? Finally, as a citizen, we get benefited out of the GDP earned, other one, GST, poi, collect, I, one, it will take one year to get the benefit. So, you are the primary beneficiary. So, please participate in such events. Because we, as a government, our duty is to guide you, take you there, and give a platform for you to do business. It's more of B2B. So, I request you to participate in those uh, arenas also. Thank you. Thank you, sir. So as we move on to the most important event of the program of the day, workshop on Incredible India, Bed and Breakfast and Homestay Establishments. This workshop will be directly conducted by Sri Mohamed Farooq, our regional director from Chennai. So before that, we have a little uh, intermission by PTDC. So we've just developed a little memoranda which we'd like our MD to just present to our secretaries. The same will be distributed. small things and we are distributing it to all the stakeholders. So we would just like our MD to thank our secretary for all the support. So thanking you for taking PTDC to America. The organizers, you please help us. Can we come? Can we come down? Yeah, yeah, sure. Thank you. Students are Students also are coming. Some are coming. So we'll give that some topics to these students. One of the topics is, is also. Yes, we will do I think they would have been much happy to come to Pontichi for the conference. Yes, sir. First time, you can find places to be seated. We bring him here. We bring the hotel session president and the office there is here for service. Everybody can find places to be seated. Make that seat. Today, we will come earlier only so that we can make so MD so I think you know the time was the sleeping time. So in the time we have uh we are doing this program. So first, uh, my apology for the same. But I think, you know, overall, uh, we can keep it as an exception. We are not in the the program. We'll attend this program. And uh, I think, I'm sure, uh, you'll all find this program useful. So my thanks to the managing director of uh, PDTC, director of tourism. She, she could not make it today. Uh, she had a personal uh, program. And uh, our secretary, sir, you know, was he's actually forthcoming and, you know, very welcoming for anything that we go and ask him, he says, he goes, when we jump on he will say, 
So we have an enterprising uh, secretary, and uh, Pondicherry people should be happy about having a secretary like him. So, so before we uh, get into the the core uh, workshop on what bed and breakfast and uh, homestay establishments are, I would just want to talk about what tourism is. So since you're all part of the tourism family, uh, I'm sure you know, and we are born and brought up in Pondicherry. So I am also a Pondicherryan, so I'm proud of being a Pondicherryan. And uh, so we know, uh, I had grown up uh, seeing people, foreigners, you know, walking in the streets, and uh, we had interacted with them. And uh, that is one thing that has made us, you know, to go and talk or, you know, attend interviews, uh, you know, be good with people, all that. So that was a, that is a wonderful opportunity uh, that we had uh, uh, in, uh, in uh, being born and brought up in Pondicherry. So that's one thing. So tourism, you uh, see, we should look at tourism as one thing that is, uh, you know, uh, tourism. Now, my name is Chitrakoo. Tourist or whatever. How many days holiday go or business trip go or whatever? They spend some time, stay for one or two nights, and then they go back. But there are more, many more things to tourism apart from what we think. The most important thing is, everyone knows that you know tourism brings foreign exchange, and uh, actually, Patina, technically, Patina, tourism is one of the largest foreign exchange earning industry when compared to any other industry. So, the point number one. I don't want to get into the de uh, technical details of it. Foreign exchange, I think there will be some financial experts who will be talking about it, but. Foreign exchange earnings is very important to any country. You know, balance of payments in Solvanga. When we export and import, the foreign exchange is very much required for any country to, to make uh, you know, the balance of payments. So let's not get into that, but it is very important. That's point number one. Point number two, every country in the world is looking at tourism as one of the primary industry. I have told this before, even countries like Saudi Arabia, which is more and more conservative, they don't want anybody to come to their country. But today, Saudi Arabia, Qatar, Lampatina, see they are arranging international uh, FIFA, uh, International World Cup, Qatar. Saudi Arabia has opened the, uh, you know, it's a, it's a border and, you know, it's land to uh, tourists, which was not done uh, one or two years before. So, Yang Kitty, you know, see, uh, they are immensely oil rich countries avangalukku oil la vara panatha veche generations periya panakaran la irukla but they have realized the importance of tourism they have thought that you know tourism illama nammala future la ipo vena namba vende self sufficient a irukla but in the future la vende we need tourism so it they are all getting into tourism so point number 2 point number 3 romba mukkiyamanadhu see tourism is one industry which will keep away from war in the Nadakara world, many countries are fighting against each other because people do not understand each other. They think he is my enemy. So, tourism is a very good channel for bringing people together. One country and another country, when the people are not like Tamil Nadu, Karnataka, Santa Bodhagrana, when they travel, they will know, get to know people, and you would see people saying that, you know, uh, Karnataka people are very good. Pondicherry people are very good, they are very hospitable. So, Angamari, to get to know each other, tourism is a very good channel. Number three. Number four, Rombo Rombo Mukhe. See, inclusive growth in Sulwanga. That's when the industry is going to happen, that's the tourism. In true tourism, you can go to a roadside, you can go to a party. Anggap bayar orang orang bangun nak na, orang ambil orang bayar bangun nak na. Si normal lah, jodoh anjur bawa patro bawa bisnes pun raya. Orang parti anggap, orang tourist pun dah na. Iro udara itu dua puluh agam, dua puluh itu naapat agam. Puri dah. Aduh, macam tu, biar yang dah, yang dah orang industry yang buruk mudah. Yang orang perih industry yang dalam sini. So it will reach to the last member in the society or in the local community. So tourism very important because it has multiplier effect. Orang tourism industry macam tu na, there will be construction industry which will flourish. There will be many other sectors, like you know, multi multiplayer effect in Sulawesi. So it has uh, cross linkage in many other industries, and that's why we say tourism is very important to any country. 
So these are all uh, overview of tourism. But what we need to do is we need to do our business. We need to do what we need to do. We need to do what we need to do. But we need to do our tourism family. We should also know the basic fundamentals of tourism. So that when we grow, we will know what the fundamental is. So that is the reason I am telling you about what tourism is all about. Okay? Now let's go to the, uh, the core uh, point. So how many of you have your uh, home stay or dinner breakfast establishment? How many of you have your home stay or dinner breakfast please. Very few. Okay. How many of you have your home stay? Do you understand? Oh, I'm sorry. Okay. So I tried to, uh, you know, combine English and that. See, I was asking uh, how many people run uh, home stays now. You're running, right? So there's a there are a mix of people who are running and uh, you know who are going to start their business. For all of you, let me say why why home stay and bed and breakfast is important. See, if you see generally, I don't have the correct figures with me. But the, the latest trend is that every tourist, whether it's international tourist or domestic tourist, or I will say the high spending tourist. Tourists, there are different categories. There are tourists who come on backpacks. They come as backpackers, spend very little money. They come on a shoestring budget, they spend very little money on a destination and they go back. So these are called budget tourists. And there are tourists who come, they stay for two days, but they spend the highest that any, any tourist can spend. So they are called high, spend, high spenders or you know, high end tourists. They stay for, look for you know, the best of things. Whether it can be a, it can be a luxury hotel or any you know, place that can give them that different experience. So these people, these high end tourists, the present trend is that everyone wants to go and experience in a homestay. You know why? Anybody can say why? Privacy hmm? Sorry? Privacy and Privacy hotel is not Independent also they can improve their home. Like they can use it like a home. Personalized service. Personalized service, okay? Get a feel of the local experience. Local experience? Yes. No, no, home away from home. Sorry? It's a home away from home. Home away from home, exactly. Yeah, yeah, that's a good point. Anything else? So let me tell you, uh, you know, with God's grace, uh, I have gone to the best of the hotels so far. But if you ask me, where do you want to stay? I will say, I would prefer to stay in homestay. You know why? Connection. Sorry? Just a connection because you have a connection. Human experience. Human experience. But I think hotel also yeah, can have a like a business. This feels like you're part of it. Exactly. He's, he's touching it. See, the hospitality. The hospitality. See, uh, we are known for hospitality. Aditi Devo Bhava. Which says, guest is gone. No other country can boast of this kind of hospitality. When I say Aditi Devo Bhava, I mean it. Every one of us. Probably we would have we would have forgotten, but our grandparents and parents, when our guests come to our house, we wholeheartedly welcome them. But I don't know how many of us welcome today. I had seen my grandparents and you know parents running away, uh, keeping everything ready, you know, very cheered up, and you know, they will uh, keep uh, you know, everyone uh, pampered, saying your uncle is coming day after tomorrow. I'm going to make this that and all. It will be festive. So that hospitality is something that we should be proud about and that is the unique selling proposition that we should look at. Especially South Indians, I'd say. I'm not against North Indians, I'm saying I'm more uh, you know, uh, inclined to South Indian because I'm a South Indian and I have seen the South Indian hospitality. Even now, not in cities, uh, I may be wrong. Uh, when I go to s smaller villages, you know, even today, you know, you, a, a person without, you know, uh, without shirt, he'll be just wearing a munda. But the kind of hospitality, you know, he'll go all out and ask you, why have you come here? Can I give you some uh, buttermilk? These are the hospitality that you ever get in any part of the world, I challenge you. 
So this is what you know will keep us you know grow. This is not something that we have to you know kudusa pay number we are going to have to come you know, learn something. These are there uh, you know which are being coming from uh, many generations which are being passed by our grandparents and you know parents to us which we have to depend on. So this is what I'm talking about. So why homestay? Because you know the most important thing is nobody can tell you about a city or a place like Pondicherry except the person who is living there. You might find hoteliers coming and you know having a profession there. Might be a localite also, but you'll be too busy in you know in other things. But I want to host is there when a person is staying in a homestay, he is more inclined to get to the bottom to serve you so that you are happy. That is why homestay is special. I am telling you the present trend is even the crorepatis. I have seen. I you will not believe. I went to Kodaikanal. Uh, a month back and i was pleasantly surprised to hear from that homestay fellow sachin tendulkar came and stayed in his uh, homestay this is true and he said uh, what is his name uh, rajinikanth sanilla fair enough danush 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 used to come and stay in my uh, hotel property homestay i was surprised there are five star hotels there why because you know see they want you know what is privacy yes the utmost privacy will get but number two is you know the local touch you know people know about you know uh, what who the guest is and what should be done you know and the host himself will go and you know stretch her, him or himself or herself to ensure that the guest is immensely happy so that is the strength and i'm telling you there is there is more demand for homestays than hotels in the current scenario and there are homestays for your information which are selling at 50000 rupees per night there are homestays which are selling at 50000 per night and for your information taj group of hotels is running homestays under the brand ama ama okay so these are information taj group yedu ginga homestay pannu that is selling huh selling la businessman avanukku theriyum idla vandu ah this is the train and you know home stay is going to be the future that's why taj is venturing into it so so taj will be venture i'm not against taj and venturing into home stay but i'm saying why the question of why again you are saying that you know i'm not saying you are saying they are more commercialized but a home stay owner will not be 100% commercialized he will not be running his uh, business for commercial 100% okay and i have seen home stays you know there are most of the home stays which i had gone are run by senior citizens you know why most of the senior citizens would have, have their son and daughter living abroad us uk and all that and these people will be feeling little lonely and they would have a huge property and they will think you know at least i'll see some guests some nice people <laughs> i don't want money so this is a trend so homestay is good because many things i don't want to get into details of it but i'm sure i went to a homestay yesterday in bondicherry madam was a, a host there she has a very beautiful homestay there and uh, the work she has done in that homestay uh, is phenomenal i mean very good Uh, you know she has gone into the details of all the interiors there and it was like fantastic you know one homestay uh, that i can say you know one of the best in uh, that i have seen so yeah so she 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 also says you know i i don't want much money you know i just want uh, it's my passion that i am running this homestay so there is opportunity for every one of you your interest might differ but the bottom line is that you know it is is it is meeting people money will come anyways okay but it is more than the money so you have to understand that badalla first of all i i want to also say you know if anyone wants to run yanaku panana you know abina i would always say you will not be successful in home stays okay but i am not run home stays but i am saying as a guest unga home stay la vandha na thanganale i will feel that you know you are more commercial and that human connection that we are looking at is not there so home stay is for people who want to connect with people and you know make their stay a wonderful experience that is very important today's tourism is again not looking at places monuments adalla mukhyam illa 
people want experiences. People, foreigners who come to India, they see the, uh, the bullock carts in the street and they go, go crazy. Maadu Pathagana, they bully Panga. They know Maadu Pudunga Rola, Abdin Solid. Party, I mean, Tamil Nadu or whatever. In India, I think I'm saying generally, it will be full of experience. Nikubai Pusa is a great Panana. Our road of Panana, Nikula, in the Maribulama, in the Maribula, I had seen people. One of the fellow, you know, one, one tourist came from, uh, I don't know which place. I met him in Chennai uh, and I said, how did you come, manage to come to this place? He said, I came with the public transport. I was shocked, Chennai left. I was shocked. I would not dare to go with a public transport, up a Palawan bus. I was shocked. So that was the experience. But he said, this is something new. I have never seen this kind of, you know, people, you know, with full, you know, uh, I mean, what, I mean, they aunt ka, full sa, yana magla, the bhaiya ka dhubar ko, yabdi da yor vandar in. And I am telling you, you, he managed to travel in bus for the next one week. And he was happy about it. So these are things, you know, nama hote, you see, we don't, we cannot, we don't, we should not replicate US, UK or any other developed country. We have our U USPs. People come to see that. We are one of the developed countries in the world and we are going to be super power soon. And you know, we are a 5 trillion economy and all that is fine. But the basic fundamental I'm saying, we should not change it. We should stick to that. That is very important. So with that, we'll go to the uh, registration part. So the first, first question is, why should I do it? Why the hell should I do it, man? Any answer? Regularize. Huh? Regularize. Visibility. You need a home state. Now home state. Why should I go and register? This is the question everyone will be having. Credibility. Yes, Number one, there needs to be registration across the board so that taxes are collected fairly and then we need to see what those taxes are being spent on because you're saying we double our population during the tourist season. Our infrastructure, whether it is sewage, our roads, our water, our electricity does not have the space to service all of this influx. When? So people when they come for experience, beautiful homestay, nicely decorated, very good host, but our city is not mm. Our city does not have the same good garbage collection that we want them to experience. So I think when we talk about tourism, not talking about infrastructure and leaving that to other departments, mm. does not make much sense for a city that wants to grow its tourism. Yeah, point taken, ma'am, you are broad minded, but I'm saying I'm very narrow minded. So I'm asking myself, why should I register? I just said so. You need to collect the money so that you can spend it on the city. Accreditations. It's, huh? yeah, it gives a good accreditation. Accreditation. And visibility. Like why, why do you need accreditation? Anybody from this side? I think most of these people are sleeping here. Yes, sir. Sir, if anything goes wrong, we should not be in trouble. <coughs> anything goes. Very good. Very good answer. Yes. Someone should help. Yeah. Very good. Yeah. Any, any other answer? Ah, okay. Uh, okay, you think I register for no? Now our home stay is there, right? Why should I register for no? Answer. Because the guests are on the Yeah, I'm a 
see நீங்க உங்க पर्सनल விஷயம் பண்றீங்கனா அதுக்கு வந்து we cannot intervene that so if you're doing something anything personal i have no business to put my nose into it but when you do a business when you are earning single rupee or ruba you earn pandreenga appo and adu vandha enna aayidhu odane next minute it becomes commercial correct ah or ruba you yaar kela vaangneenga adu commercial aayidha illaya okay commercial earning nale adu vandha it is a contract between a buyer and seller right appe prachana aarambichom உங்களுக்கு புரியும் நினைக்கிறேன் இது ஒண்ணு ரெண்டாவது முக்கியமான விஷயம் பாருங்க பண்ணது யாரு கடைசியா தொடர்ந்தது யாரு டூரிசம் ஹோட்டல் சரி souvenir shop seri vandi transporter seri the first one was to lock the tala was tourism industry and the last one to open it was tourism industry so government of india was asking you know what to do i mean so people are suffering we need to help them illa ye help pannano eppadi pandrathu so they asked the ministry of tourism to collect the information till then we thought why should we trouble people and disturb them for registration ninga na idhiya pandra nu kekringa seri avaru solraare avaru panna vena nu nikkara edhuk avaru poi why should i force him na naanga nenjirukom but when the crisis came government was willing to help them and we wanted a database of evlo perpa irukanga how many people are running home stays avaru kanak patha oru ruli anji per da irukanga அஞ்சு பேர் இருந்தாங்க security clearance ah irka okay you ticket panna kudupen sir normally private corporate illa kekka mara they won't ask for anything they'll say you are travel yes you have made given some business to the company i am giving you the ticket charge that's all so is the government so government was asking you know for you know people unga 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 paisa la solunga apdi solli keta yaar kittime data ve illa every state was having five people six people seven people and most of the people were crying and saying you know sir nang register pannala but we need the benefits so end of the day when we went to the finance department and said there are many people who have not registered we have more than have we are having more than a lack of people who have who have uh, home stay bed and breakfast etc ganga avangala help pannanu sir mane they said a very big no no we cannot do it so ninga if you, you have to make a decision it is a decisive decision that you have to take ninga enna nenpinga ipo la see namma vandu na solla kuda adu government la irundhe but as a friend you know unga body share indradhaala na solren data ipo vandu it has almost become 100% transparent if you put facebook la if you put shoes or if you put send a message saying to your, to your friend in whatsapp that i am going to buy a shoe in so and so shop and if you have social media in your uh, home please check your uh, check uh, facebook or in instagram go by na next within 24 hours you will have advertisements about shoes in your telephone i mean in your mobile phone which means நீங்க என்ன பண்றீங்கன்றத யாருக்கோ போது இன்ஃபர்மேஷன் எதுவுமே சீக்கிரட்டே கிடையாது உலகத்துல இன்னைக்கு இதுதான் உண்மை வி ஆல் திங்க் கவர்மெண்ட்ல போய் நான் எதுக்கியா என் ஃப்ரெண்ட் ஒருத்தர் சொன்னார் யோ நீ சம்பளம் வாங்குறதுக்கு நான் எதுக்கியா போய் ரிஜிஸ்டர் பண்ணணும்னு கேட்ட பட் அது வந்து ஆக்சுவலி ஒண்ணுமே கிடையாது நீங்க வந்து இப்ப பாத்தீங்கன்னா இன்கம் டாக்ஸ் ஆல்மோஸ்ட் எல்லாமே கட்ட வேண்டிய நிலைமை ஆயிடுச்சு எல்லாரும் கட்டிட்டு இருக்கோம் நீங்க இன்கம் டாக்ஸ் கட்டலனால டிடிஎஸ்ல டேக் பண்ணிடுறாங்க 
புரியுதுங்களா உங்க பணம் எப்படி டிடெக்ட் ஆயிடுது நீங்க தெரியவோ தெரியாமலோ ஒரு சோப் வாங்கினீங்களோ God forbid it should not happen to you but it also comes with good opportunity good number of opportunities as well as challenges so you have to be prepared for it adukaga ninga vandu you should be prepared adukku ore vali enna na you come in the mainstream we are not asking you for registration pandradhukku engal charges paathina 3000 rupees adu yen 3000 rupees neenga kattinga government adhu evlo solla podu paathina almost close to 1 lakh நான் இல்லடா என்னுடைய ஆபீஸ் கொலீக் வந்து ஒரு நாலு பேரோட வந்து அதை இன்ஸ்பெக்ஷன் பண்ணணும் அவங்களுக்கு எல்லாம் டிக்கெட் செலவு எல்லாம் பாத்தீங்கன்னா ஒரு லட்சம் ரூபாய்க்கு மேல ஆகும் ஆனா நீங்க எவ்வளவு கட்டுறீங்க மூணாயிரம் ரூபாய் இதுதான் உண்மை சோ அதனால சொல்றேன் சோ யூ ஷுட் நாட் திங்க் இந்த மாதிரி ஒரு நம்ம போய் நம்மளே மாட்டிக்க கூடாது அப்படின்னு தான் நினைச்சிட்டு இருப்பாங்க நிறைய பேர் அந்த மாதிரி எல்லாம் ஒண்ணுமே கிடையாதுங்க see idu vandu home stay it's going it's going to grow like anything you are thinking that see tamil nadu for example kodaikanal and ooty la we have more than 200 cases as of now pending inspections naanga poi inspect pananum enga office la poi and hotel home stay eppadi irukku abbi inspect pandrathu pending 200 per vara kuduthu pending la irukka which means it is growing in many form bayangar speed of home stays and bed and breakfast establishments are growing so it's quite natural neenga varalanalo ungala pudichi ulla potruvanga seringla so adha pathi kavaleya padadinga neenga you should always think nera poi or nermiya or vishayatha pannu nenainga idhula onnume illa actually oru problem illa but once you become a registered establishment aanichina accreditation sonna mari you have follow the due process required for running an establishment so you can proudly say to anybody i am not a running an illegal business i am running business legally abdin soninale vandavanga odi veruvanga thirumbi i am saying panam ketu varavangala so adanal please start ninga indha mari intention irundhadna just adha marandittu immediately registration process enna na pananum nu paarenga most of the state governments go in the, the in the registration process okay most of the state governments have registration process as well as state, central governments have this bed and breakfast and home stays <coughs> schemes before it was only home stays now we have home stays and bed and breakfast establishments the next question is why to what is the difference correct yeah. okay so home stays on the home stay it is my home i am the host i am renting out one some of my rooms to a guest yen kitta moonu room irukum na oru room la thangikiren next remaining rent rooms vacant are there i want to give it to guest so home stays what is required is the host the owner should stay in that property and the vittla irukum and the mari irundaka you should choose home stay home stay in the recognition registration process to choose one abadi illiya ipo edhukku idu naanga kondittu vandha nu paathina most of the people i'm not saying everyone sila per enna pannuvaanga business pandradhukaga enna pannuvaanga indha mari na veedu eduthu naanga vandu we are giving to guests nu solvaanga but avanga anga irukum maatanga avaru enga irpaaru america la irpaaru ange endha online la book panni guest ku idha solvaaru avaru whatsapp call pannaaga nee anga po anga road la anga nillu வீட்டில <laughs> இருக்கணும் <laughs> ஹோம்ஸ்டேல பெட் அண்ட் பிரேக்ஃபாஸ்ட்ல அவர் இருக்கணும்னு அவசியம் இல்ல பட் ரெண்டுமே மோர் ஆர் லெஸ் 
similar difference is name home stay bed and breakfast seringla bed and breakfast la enna bed and breakfast code report irukke abina enna tho in the ella establishment me it is always good desirable that you should give breakfast to the guest when they come and stay in your property kandipa ninga avangalukku breakfast kodukkanum so adanalada bed and breakfast seringla home stay la adhe da bed and breakfast la adhe da but only nomenclature difference vandu host vandu anga thanga irukkanum home stay la so that's a difference ஸோ ஹாஸ்பிட்டாலிட்டி செக்டர் உங்களுக்கு தெரியும் ஹாஸ்பிட்டாலிட்டி செக்டர்னா ஹாஸ்பிட்டல் செக்டர் கிடையாது ஹோட்டல் இண்டஸ்ட்ரி வந்து தான் ஹாஸ்பிட்டாலிட்டி செக்டார்னு சொல்லுவாங்க ஸோ ஹாஸ்பிட்டாலிட்டி செக்டார்னு உங்களுக்கு தெரிஞ்சிருக்கும் ஹோட்டல்ஸ் இருக்கு பார்த்தீங்கன்னா இந்தியாவில் வந்து ஃபைவ் ஸ்டார் ஹோட்டல் கிளாசிபிகேஷன் பண்ணுவாங்க கவர்மெண்ட் ஆஃப் இந்தியா ஃபைவ் ஸ்டார் ஃபோர் ஸ்டார் த்ரீ ஸ்டார் அதுக்கு கீழே நாங்கள் பண்ணுறது இல்லை த்ரீ அண்ட் ஃபோர் அண்ட் ஃபைவ் மூணு ஸ்டார் கேட்டகரி ஹோட்டல்ஸ் இருக்கு செவன் ஸ்டார்லாம் சொல்லுவாங்க அந்த மாதிரிலாம் எதுவுமே கிடையாது இந்தியாவில் சரிங்களா ஃபாரின்ல கூட எனக்கு இருக்கான்னு தெரியல ஒரு <laughs> and there is a due process there is a committee which goes and sees the hotels and if they follow all the guidelines the hotel will be classified as five star or four star or three star okay la so for your information here ide maari we also give recognitions to travel agencies tour operators uh where shopping la shopping club kuda la na restaurants kuda we are giving classification specially ஸ்பெஷலைஸ்ட் ரெஸ்டாரண்ட் ரெஸ்டாரண்ட் பண்றவங்களுக்கு அதுக்கெல்லாம் கூட கிளாசிபிகேஷன் இருக்கு கவர்மெண்ட் ஆஃப் இந்தியா கிளாசிபிகேஷன் ஸோ இது இல்லாம வி ஆல்சோ கிவ் கிளாசிபிகேஷன் ஃபார் பெட் அண்ட் பிரேக்ஃபாஸ்ட் அண்ட் ஹோம் ஸ்டேஸ் ஸோ திஸ் இஸ் த டிஃபரெண்ட் கேட்டகரிஸ் ஒன் டூ த்ரீ ஃபோர் ஃபைவ் ஃபைவ் டி டூ ஸ்டார்ல நம்ம கிளாசிஃபை பண்ணுவோம் பண்ணுவோம் ரொம்ப கம்மி நினைக்கிறேன் ஓகே ஸோ ஃபைவ் ஸ்டார் டி ஃபைவ் ஸ்டார் டி இஸ் Five star deluxe hotels, and then there is hotels called heritage hotels. By a weird mari ruko, or you know the local uh, uh, architecture ruko, ado ondi heritage hotels so you can put money, ado ondi classy one patro. Ado la ondi renting category ruki classy and grand. Ado kapro legacy vintage or category, and then we also give classified tented accommodations, apartment hotels, motels, guest houses, standalone. Standalone. Is all me patro na. So you are tented accommodation in India. Run for no. Or beach. If a point here, beaches plan area private uh, lease. Plan run. And if you lease it out, and then you want to do some tented accommodation there, all these plan run class by planning plan. Sorry, no. So all of them are there. And then we have uh, restaurant convention centers. Convention center is where the places like uh, conferences plan are run. Convention centers, time show resorts, and then better breakfast home stays and air catering units. So these are some of the things that we do. So coming to homestay and bed and breakfast. So as I told you, homestay is only one owner or the promoter of the establishment will stay in that property, and he should have one one minimum one room or two. Put no, very little guest will put no. He should have any at at least minimum one livable rooms and maximum six rooms. Maximum six rooms are six rooms. My life that guy will not come under homestay bed and breakfast. so you have to either go for uh, you know uh, budget star hotels or whatever category it is so minimum is one maximum is six six rooms na na six rooms vechirka 25 bed vechirka na adhu vandu motoranga mottham 12 bed da irukum if they are running in two different establishment yeah you have to apply the a b yes change for the b and b ha b and b are all sorry maximum is 12 beds Six rooms. If you want to make it two establishments, then you register separately. One, two. But you have to stay in both places, right? For homestay. Yeah, for for homestay. homestay. Yes. Any questions? Where are you going to live? Okay. Next is bed and breakfast thing. In this case, 
the owner or the promoter do not have to stay in that property. Say minimum one room and maximum is six rooms, 12 beds. <coughs> so validity of this uh, uh, recognition will be for two years from the date of issue. Again, reclassification for one, you have to go for renewal. For reclassification, the application has to be submitted three months prior to the expiry. One must you have to apply for it before it expires. Yeah. And this new because the one I have a BNP license which is for three years. Given by whom? Incredible idea with tourism department. No, no, no. State rules. State rules. Yeah, so we have some state rules also. So I think it's for three years. Three years. Three years. Do you have any mobile apps like Airbnb? Because it's the whole thing is a kind of a process. What do I have? Uh, like Airbnb. You know, Airbnb is a mobile app. Which yeah. will, uh, ah, okay. I'm coming to it. I'm coming to it. Yeah. So Airbnb. So I, uh, gentlemen, spoke about Airbnb. I think you know Airbnb. I think everyone knows about Airbnb. How it has grown. It is a small this thing now, I think in a world over it has become very famous. And what do they run? They don't allow, uh, have uh, luxury resorts, luxury hotels. Small, small things. But the confusion comes, you know, I'm not against any uh, uh, this thing name. But there are a lot of issues in the Airbnb. I have bad experiences myself. When I went to uh, Delhi, I went, landed up in a place, nobody was there. And uh, next to, uh, one hour, you know, if I had stayed there, I would have lost my life. So that was the experience uh, in some places, you know, some this thing. So it's better always to go and see if they are recognized by the ministry because they are liable. If I run a homestay or a bed and breakfast establishment, I get into some problem, you can always reach out to the government of India and we will sue them and ensure them that they are behind bars. We will ask for, even if your service is bad, we can always ask the homestay owner to explain to us why this went wrong. If he doesn't give proper justification, we can always cancel his recognition. You can do it in Airbnb, but my experience, nobody responded to my this thing. No, it's a, it's a, it's a first experience. Yeah. I got to at least in the room, Kerona, and that lady was rude actually. He wrote to Airbnb and did like this. It's yeah, you see, know. Airbnb, I think, you know, out of, you know, there are many, uh, you know, uh, uh, this uh, what it is. No, you have yeah. to what you say. Yeah. You see but Airbnb is very list. good. Off the list, Airbnb is the good. The loophole is they'll change yeah. the name and yeah. reintroduce again. See, again, the problem is in Airbnb. You see, I, I don't know. I, I'm not into it. Airbnb as such. The reason why I brought it because yeah. it's a good thing to copycat. We get, we are, all of us are so we, we have. I'm not coming to that. So we, we are coming to it. We are coming. We have the robust system. And you know, it's all security protected uh, hotel that is, we are coming with applications where you know, uh, all the homestays units will be will be under your uh, pump. You know, anybody who wants to come uh, to Pondicherry, if he just clicks Pondicherry, you will see the establishments, experience, reviews, everything will be in that app. Ratings. Ratings also. So that, that is, uh, you know, you, within a six or one year time, I think it will be completely available to Market. So that's one thing. Excuse me? Yeah. I do have one question. I'm from. Yeah. yeah. I'm a homestay owner. The thing what we are facing is with the PNB license or bread and breakfast license, what we are facing is actually when we go and approach them, there are many hurdles. Because the person who is uh, sitting there itself don't know how to guide us. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. If, if, we just, if we are just going to tourism department and if we are just approaching for tourism department, no, I just don't want to be specific, but we are just trying with the. So we will come to that. Actually, I got one small request. Uh, you want to simplify things. What I request you is you just uh, create an online platform so that it will be uh, helpful for us. Even the application, what we are submitting, we are ready to submit in online. Because LMB prompt are the mantra. Hope uh, more than 90% of people are uh, running the home sales in a very prompt way. Mm -hmm. uh, we are going and approaching the department, we are finding the difficulties there. 
and that too when we are coming to the moon's party or something XYZ. So we will come to that, that sir. Please excuse me. Thank you. Come, we will come to that time. No? We will have a question and answer session. We will ask that. So allow me to finish my uh, uh, workshop and then we will have discussions. Okay? So next is So this is the fees uh, that we collect from uh, for registration. Silver category we class uh, for uh, uh, every two years we have to pay three thousand rupees. For gold category we have to I mean you have to register for, for registration it is five thousand rupees. So IIO three thousand rupees and I fees. In the documents are upload for now. This is very important. All are kept on. Any income tax bank card or no other 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 so you can have any uh, you know rented or leased uh, property, but you should have proper documentation for that, and you should produce it when it when, it's, when it is asked. Actually, these are to be uploaded in a registration part of stage area. You have to upload all these documents. One is sale deed, revenue purpose regarding ownership, NOC from police department. On the police department, you know, most of the uh, you know you might know what is happening. Uh, you know, most of the people. Some of the, not most of the people, I'm saying uh, very few of the people uh, run for illegal purpose. So it's always better, you know, some people come and hide in your uh, homestay and they, they might be, a, you know, a criminal or, you know, uh, somebody who is, who is on the lookout. So it's always better that, you know, you, uh, you know, get a NOC from police department. The police department also knows that there is a homestay, or a homestay, panitrikanga. Abdeen police car, it will be helpful for you. And I get out problem on the Nagoda. You can always say Ningang and get no secret thing. They will recognize. And most importantly, Nangwanda, see, Ministry of Tourism has given instructions to all the police state government to issue this NOC. Okay. So, in case you have any problems, you can also go ahead and you will have to issue them. Mostly, 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 they are issuing it online nowadays. They are in the police station, they are not going to be in the house. Uh, mostly it is through the passport money I check, online lay patran. And then photographs of the property. From the property video photographs that is upload panana. So either on the checklist for classification, including guidelines, uh, you can collect the information including website in the information line, you can register panano, including officers in the after the meeting on the Venona. You can contact the office numbers, you can collect the website, you can get all the information it is all available on our website. So, we have a checklist, you can submit the application, 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 and then you can cross verify what is required, and it is all given here. For example, well maintained, you can't tell me that, well maintained, you can't tell me that, you can't tell me that. Well maintained and well equipped house in this room with quality carpets. So minimum requirement. So this all about the Sadarma. That is 120 square feet. This is what I told you. Mukhya ma, that is rent category. Okay, yeah. Silver category one is gold category one. Silver category the minimum requirement is plain. Our hills like hill station are that is 9 9 square feet and above. But in our plains, that is not a quantity area. It is 120 square feet. Minimum is rooms. Gold category is 200 square feet room. Room size. Bathroom size is thinning. Bathroom restroom size is, I mean bathroom size is 30 square feet for silver category. Gold is 40 square feet. So you should check this before. You can apply for the community. You can apply for the bathroom size is 100 square feet or 100 square feet. You can apply for the room size. You should check whether it has 120 square feet, 200 square feet. So if the checklist is full of detail and all that, you can read it and it's all very simple. Here are the rooms. Sorry. 
minimum floor area you know, the attached property bathroom with every room along with toiletries, minimum size of, uh, size of bathroom. Remember simple, there are the requirements, the checklist and the things you have to just see that and ensure that everything is there. So, any problem you will get, at any point of time you have, just take our numbers, you can always contact us, we will be happy to help you. So in the difference in the internet connection is internet connection in silver category is desirable. But gold category is mandatory, mandatory, internet. Telephone with extension facility in the room, not required for silver category, it's only desirable. But nowadays I think it's better that you have an intercom machine and all I mean you should be available with the mobile phone. Gold category it is mandatory. Washing machines, dryers in the house, with arrangements for laundry, dry cleaning service, desirable for silver category, mandatory for gold. Fridge, desirable for silver category, mandatory for gold. Safe, hotel uh, company, the only valuables now we can put in the safe small room, the safe in Sulwanga, Yerubu Petty. It's desirable for silver category, mandatory for uh, gold category. Security guard, desirable for silver category, mandatory for gold. Fire extinguisher, desirable for silver, mandatory for gold. So, the, so once you apply for it, you know, the online application, in the site locator, so the site is almost ready in uh, We have upgraded to the next uh, you know, level with a lot of uh, uh, you know, user friendly applications. So, on the online appointment, you have to just fill in all your details, upload the documents, and then do the registration, make the payment. There will be a committee which will come and see your property, and uh, they will see if the property is good. Regional director office, then the regional director will have a nominee, state tourism department, representative from local, central, state, IHM, hotel management institute, IATO is the travel agent body, Indian Association of Tour Operators. They are the one who is the one Travel Agents Association of India, TAI. Travel Agents Association is the one who is the one. So, Anji Perkul is the committee of your property. You have the guidelines, you have the checklist, you have the property. If they think you have all this, then they recommend this property for whatever category that you are applying for. Okay, this is a very good question. So some of the benefits that you have is, first is, there is a scheme called Market Development Assistant. Uh, market Development Scheme for Domestic Tourism. See, uh, Secretary is saying, foreign club or law. You can always market your property for, there are many uh, domestic travel exhibitions, fairs that happen all over the country. Every month you will see something happening in some part of the country. So, Ministry of Tourism or State Government take part in all these events. In you will find tour operators, uh, 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 travel agents, common public. So, it is a very good forum for marketing your property. So, in the morning, Market Development Assistance tickets allah, tickets kala, refund If you need a proper apply no, well in advance you apply na, and the expenditure there is a ceiling. Will do most of the expenditure, I think what is the maximum ceiling? Uh, Rashmara, the MDA uh, ceiling uh, okay. the, the ticketing cost plus the space space the rental put thing government will refund money. So that is will be useful. Arko. Property market. So that is one. Number two, permission to in, use Incredible India logo. See, I have seen many of the tour, one deal a car line up on Incredible India logo and put on it. What do you know? We got the court notice on the road. I'm a bundle. I'm a very busy. So, email on there, I'll get any of us. You put up on there. You are on the recognition. They cannot use Incredible India logo. So, establishment learning, if you say I am a, a, a Ministry of Tourism 
ஆத்தரைஸ்ட் இன்டர்வியூ இந்தியா லோகோ போட்டீங்கன்னா நீங்க கண்டிப்பா கிளாசிபிகேஷன் வாங்கிடணும் இல்லைன்னா யூஸ் பண்ண முடியாது third is preferential charges for participation as i told you in the inter- in the international fairs of sonangla secretary there are many international fairs happened in uh, you know the world mukhya vaanu pathina london la wto nu or event nadakum itb berlin nadakudhu uh, germany la and then uh, itb singapore there are many events and engalukku vandu ministry of tourism has overseas uh, offices irukku throughout the world romba thariya or 14 offices irukku அங்கேருந்து வந்து எல்லா ஈவெண்ட்ஸையும் பார்ட்டிசிபேட் பண்ணுவாங்க இன்கேஸ் உங்களுக்கு வந்து சில கண்ட்ரியில் வந்து எனக்கு இந்த இந்த கெஸ்ட்லாம் இந்த என்னுடைய ஹோம் ப்ராப்பர்ட்டி பிடிக்கும் அவங்களுக்கு நீங்கள் அங்கே போய் நாங்கள் எல்லா ஈவெண்ட் பண்ணணும் அந்த மாதிரி எதாவது பண்ணிங்கன்னா அங்கே போய் பார்ட்டிசிபேட் பண்ணுறதுக்கு உங்களுக்கு ப்ரிஃபரன்ஷியல் சார்ஜஸ் உங்களுக்கு டிஸ்கவுண்டட் ரேட்ஸில் உங்களுக்கு ஸ்பேஸ் கொடுப்பாங்க அதுதான் ப்ரிஃபரன்ஷியல் சார்ஜஸ் அதே நீங்கள் ரெக்கக்னைஸ் பண்ண முடியாதுன்னா உங்களால் உள்ளேயே போக முடியாது அந்த இன்டர்வியூ இந்தியா பெவிலியனுக்குள்ளாரே போக முடியாது ஸோ நீங்கள் ரெஜிஸ்டர் ஆகியிருந்தீங்கன்னா அந்த சான்சஸ்லாம் இங்கே சூஸ் பண்ணிக்கலாம் international travel marts other annual and then so as i tell you somebody was asking you know we are coming into the robust system it will be like you know one point contact i mean one app where you will get complete information about incredible india which will have destination information which will have uh, ola uber la connect panna porom everything like you know any anything that tourist wants anywhere it will be connected to uh, control rooms for uh, for uh, assistance women's uh, safety gal separate the uh, toll free numbers everything is going to be done and we are spending a huge amount of money for that so adu vandu or app da one app and you will find all your uh, you know details in that ninga it will be like i don't know uh, whether it's there the online booking e adle edu pandrathu kuda facility we are going to bring it ninga make my trip or go i will go or edu endha ota platform ku poi unga home stay book panna thevai illa நீங்க ரெஜிஸ்டர் பண்ணிட்டீங்கன்னா கவர்மெண்ட் ஆஃப் இந்தியா ஆப்ல இருந்து மக்கள் வந்து ரெஜிஸ்டர் ஐ மீன் கெட் தியர் புக்கிங்ஸ் டன் ஆன்லைன் புக்கிங்ஸ் டன் த்ரூ தட் போர்ட்டல் சோ தட் will be a robust system that you're looking at and it will happen so and last point is reliability and trustworthy in the eyes of tourist see what is required is this is very important See, there are many things that is happening in this world. Now, internet, you see, you will see a lot of things that is available in the internet. But the biggest problem that every one of us has is whether this fellow is reliable. I have seen why my own you know, senior officer who is an IAS officer, his family went to, uh, wanted to go for, I mean, uh, family member, member wanted to go for honeymoon. So, he didn't tell his uncle that he is going for honeymoon. He paid some ex-agency. 5 lakhs rupees for that our online receipt la amcha amcha gapro avana avan ticket anapona onna anapla adukapra avaru vandha enna kupte enna pa adu ketta so chennai la poi avan office theri ku ponu andha varu office e illa 3 maasam munadi nadandhu he got he lost 5 lakhs rupees he was uh, supposed to go to uh, mauritius for honeymoon so this is the problem So even us, you know, normally we go online. Like when they choose one, no shirt, one, our photographs are very good. Once you purchase, I mean, give online and make payment, you get something stuff, you know, something which is not worth even fifty rupees. But some of some of the online guys are good, but you know, so that that reliability factor. India, that is very important because world over, India, when the Indians are like, oh, no, 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 no. Westerners, they think no, it is not a safe place. We cannot rely on uh, Indians. Anamarila. So, Andamai Kumodu, it's always good to have. You know, so this is the one. You know, people will immediately anybody who wants to come to India, first site they will go is Incredible India website. So, when you are registered, your data, everything will come into the Incredible India website. You might be a Airbnb, uh, you know, supplier. but airbnb yes it's a good this thing but you know though, i'm saying through my experience ipo nam singapore ponona kuda singapore stb la dhan poi singapore tourism bureau website la dhan poi information la collect pannu so adha the first kind of uh, information so anga vandu you will get all your data uh, you know available in the incredible website which will enable people to book your home stay or bed and breakfast so these are some of the good things that we offer as part of the registration process
Okay, so this is the system that we are telling, uh, uh, we are going to do. Vg.tourism.gov.in. This is the portal. You can note it down. In the site, you will find this hotel, bed and breakfast, you have a separate menu. You have a separate menu for guest house, homestay, kikida, okay. So click on that. Select register your unit. Step 3 is select the type of unit you want to register. So you will come under accommodation unit. What are accommodation unit? Under homestays, hotels, it's providing accommodation. So you should go to the step 3. And then step 4 is disclaimer. We don't normally read it, but you should read it. And then say accept and proceed. So step is read, accept and proceed the instructions. So accept it, uh, all the, read all the instructions and then say accept, your registration is almost done. Also, you have to select whether it is a homestay, hotel, bed and breakfast, in the so you have to select that. All your information should go. Name, username, all these details should be there. You have to enter your bank number also. But the income tax will not come to you because once you have a bank number, it is it is clear that you know you are under the income tax uh, uh, scanner. Step uh, eight is verify your mobile number and you will get a OTP, and then verification is done. Registration process is completed. Maximum computer like WhatsApp on a program will get. It will not take more than half an hour. Provided the Indian internet is good. Okay? So it's a half an hour affair and you know anybody can do it. Is it live? Yeah, it's live. So after registration, the details will be verified by the concerned state nodal officer. We have appointed nodal officer for every state. So Pondicherry is still Pondicherry government is a nodal officer. They will verify the details. Okay. Okay. Scrutiny. So you know they work. Uh, once you apply, uh, supply, uh, you the information. Once you submit all the information. Oh, it's mistake. Is it not? See, on the Munadi Kumka, you have basic information. Munadi registration. You will get a login. So, this is the stage where you will get your login and password. This is the permanent item. So, once it's, uh, you, know, you get your login, your registration, I mean, the, the basic fundamental registration is done. And then you will have to upload all your documents. So, the same nidhi.tourism.gov.in, login. You put your login and password log here. Login enter the login details. Click on apply button and then choose the desired classification. This is a five star DLS and my home states will be there. Click on that. Click on the process to pay and you will be directed to the payment gateway. So you have to pay your fees online. Depending on silver or gold category, pay your fees. And after successful transaction, all know, bank will go back to the bank, you know, there is a little word, you know, other government will go back to the dashboard. So, I think your form of information was successful, that's all. So, that's it, done. More documents upload, but only the uh, property photographs are uploaded, everything will be This is some of the you know, data that we have. But in the coming out there, silver category, you know, what do you mean? What 
it's not even there on the website. It's nowhere. It's not listed yet. We have a BNP license. But that yours not is centrally central government authorized. So then this is completely different. What you're saying from Pondicherry government. Exactly. Do we register with Pondicherry government or? That is your call. <laughs> so we are not saying, you know, uh, see, see, there is a difference between state government and central government. So a difference in the sense, state government is initially government authorized. Central government is, you know, the same form, the same procedure, everything is the same. No, procedure is not similar. No. They, you for initially you will not be able to do, you will not be able to do this. Automatically can't do, but it's the same format. Format is the same because you know central and you know UTs are same. They follow the same procedures. A state government normally it is different. But otherwise, you know, uh, so we are not, see this is completely a volunteer, uh, this thing. We don't force anybody for registration. We are not interested. Government is very, very, very well to do. We don't want your 3,000 rupees. But we want all of you to come into the mainstream. Yeah. You know, I know how she's going to have BNP license. Uh, I fought through, for it two years ago. So have you gone through yeah. fire department? I've gone through everything. Yeah. So, that, so for the races, do we have to go through all that also? Okay. Because no, no, no. I run an Airbnb. Police verification. And I run an Airbnb. Thank you. I run an Airbnb. And uh, last one and a half years, I've been running many levels. What I've gone through so far is about six steps. Uh, I have got my building certificate, which says that it is safe. I have, it took me a month to get my fire certificate. Uh, I'm yet to, I've got my police NOC and I'm on the way for getting other licenses as well. So if I apply for registration, do I have to go through all those licenses or no? So it's probably different. Simple. We need, we don't, know, we don't require your fire. Uh, yeah. No. no. So registration is only three. So registration is only, I'm coming on the website. Yeah. And do I need a license to run uh, an airbin or no? No, I don't want JRP. We are far superior in JRP. No, no. Mm -hmm. What I'm saying is to run a bread and breakfast uh, establishment, mm -hmm. do I run all the, do I need all the licenses or my registration is good enough? See, we only want three documents, sir. Very simple. That I saw, sir. That is what we require. So, we don't, you don't need anything? We don't need anything else. Thanks, sir. Simple. I think you made our life much easier. Yeah, we <laughs> want to make your life easier. Sir, there is something. What is he is asking those uh, documents which are required to get a municipal license? Yeah. That is for you to get a municipal trade license. This is registering your uh, hospitality on uh, in Credible India. These are two different things which you are talking. So you are talking no, no. of a trade license. For a state no, no. I have a state government, you are asking fire. Trade 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 license is required. Fire alarm municipality. No, no, no. Fire is not uh, Airbnb. It is maybe. Uh, no, 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 no. Fire is a requirement for municipality, yeah. right? So yeah. It's a requirement for municipality. Municipality trade license. So that's what our rules say. Because just in short, I say what you are saying is something different. That is. Uh, that with the central government. But what others are thinking over here locally in general, the working of the state government, any department, whether municipality or tourism or anybody, they ask a number of documents. Yeah, so Raman, uh, yeah, Raman, you want to just clarify this? You always, whether it's we have Mr. Raman, who is a tourist officer of so, Pondicherry State. Yes, yes, sir. Generally, in Pondicherry, you want to run even a small business and want to go for registration, the officers or the concert clerks don't know what exactly. They give you a checklist. I will consult with you. You will say, just bring these three documents, sir, go and submit your form in the office. But when I go to the office, they will say, bring those eight documents. Yeah, they make me who, who says that? Generally. In any okay, fine, fine. Yes, that's that's a different it. issue. Yeah, so we will so not go into the details of it. Different. Yeah. yeah. So, so what you are saying is a very simplified process, yeah. and what you need is three documents. Yeah. What others are raising questions are relating to state departments. Okay, so we will come that's to that later. Yes. I mean, state government, this thing yes, has to be That is with you. Uh, that is my choice. They will get angry. They will not allow you to. No, I think, you know, see, it's always good to have both states uh, provided you want to shut out 3,000 rupees. Yeah. 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 And uh, the licensing process is a parallel process which is separate. That's what I want to do. The licensing that you're talking about is a local person. Yeah, that's what I want to do. I have to do it. Oh, okay. So, it's not like that.
For example, so in Kodakur we have our own so that is what is that your decision I mean, yes, see, yes. see when you right. see, when we give see we are the authorized body from yes. government of india for running a homestay yes we don't need anything how you get your trade licenses, that doesn't come. That is totally your individual cup of tea. What problems you are having with the government, that is not our concern, that is not our discussion. Our discussion is how your establishment will get recognized on an incredible India uh, with the accreditation on their portal. Easy access, 3000 rupees, over to it. And thank you, sir. And we've taken uh, photographs of the important things and we put in the respective group. The whole program is also live, so you can uh, go to YouTube at Tourism Pondy and anything you want, everything will be there. You can have a look at that. Yeah, uh, the question and answers are coming, but I was just saw there was a lot of things about I have problems in municipality, fire and all. No, 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 not at all our discussion. For that, you have to go to the grievance consumer address, <laughs> not here, please. So, thank you so much, sir. And uh, for telling us how digital we are going with uh, getting registered, and I'm sure even our own state government will will soon be uh, registering online. So then you can do Incredible India, you can do Peaceful Puducherry, you can do Experience Puducherry, everything online. Right now we start with Government of India's website. Thank you so much, sir. And uh, there's, after this we have networking and tea in the hall upstairs. Before that, any questions and answers? Any questions? The answers are here. Yeah, can somebody help me with the mic, please? Just show us the mobile app, that's it. My question is just show us the mobile app. It's not a mobile app, sir. There's, There's a website okay. which said, no, Nidhi.com. Nidhi. 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 Nidhi.com. Nidhi. 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 It is on the make, it is on the unveil. It's a picture of the map. Oh, sorry. It's on the make. Yeah, so it is is the process happening, you know. So I'm I i do not want to discuss a lot of things, you know, because it's in the this thing anvil, you know, we are we are spending crores of rupees on this. Now that you know, see this is not we have not started recently. This is being there, you know. There is this portal is there for the last five, six years, I think more than that. So now we are you know, we are gone to the uh, next uh, you know uh, next uh, level and you know we are incorporating a lot of new applications and tools. So we don't want to stop it, so it is all happening. But the app will come soon. Uh, we are coming up with new technology, and the, the good thing is, another one or two years, you you never know. There will be only one kind of licenses for any uh, registration. Even the state and the central will get merged into one. 
integrate and it will become one. There are possibilities because we are exploring that also. We don't want duplications to happen. I don't know. I know there are a lot of you know, people are asking, you know, why should we go for state, central, why so much confusion? So that discussion is already happening. Only thing is, uh, we are a, a democratic and, you know, uh, uh, with uh, both central and state governments and everyone should come on the same page. So that, that consensus is that what we are looking for once it comes with all the state governments, then we will be having one single window where all these uh, you know, registrations are happening. Like category which you have this apartment hotels. What is that? Apartment hotel, apartment hotel see, it is like, uh, see, uh, multi apartments are in the Chennai, there are Pondicherry apartments. So apartments say one day upon the builder of the Euro the Euro unit to the other complete on the Euro the unit to me on the rooms Maria you want room so in a world war unit here rendered room ago so it is typical apartment but it is not given for residential purpose it is given for commercial yes other apartments so you give license it is called service apartments in solita it is very famous in the metro zone give license for that also more than six rooms. Sir, uh, first thing is, I want to thank you. This is one of the best presentations I've seen. Thank you. Because you hit upon the very concept of homestay, you hit upon the very concept of Adhidi De Goha. And you said it very clearly. We don't need to copy anyone. Our USP is that. Hospitality is something which comes naturally to us. And I really want to thank you for that. And second thing I want to say is, I have waited four years to do that process. And finally, I'm seeing it up online. Kudos for that achievement. This process is excellent, and you'll see me registered in a matter of week. That's not an issue at all. And I'm looking like the amount you put is 3,000 is a small amount for an industry to grow because we need to look at homestay as an organized center, and that can happen only if you register. Don't look at it from a you know the money point of view. 3,000 for two years is a really small amount. So once that goes in and we become like a unit, then the data goes into your ministry and that makes a difference for you and that makes a difference for us. But here comes the tricky question for you. Now I've registered, I've got the license. Can I show that license and certification to make sure that I don't get harassed by the police people, I don't get harassed by the you know, panchayat or municipality or even my homeowners association. We need absolutely crystal clear leadership from the government of India, especially incredible India, because this is a great initiative. Not many countries are doing it. Not even the best tourist countries are doing this. There's great potential for this. But where we lack is clarity, guidelines, and also follow through with those guidelines. So I want a certification from incredible India to be my license to operate without getting harassed by anyone. Can you guarantee us that? That's what we are doing. So very good question. Thank you. Uh, so, Thank see. You. Number one. If you do anything legally, do you have the rights to so-called uh, harassment not to happen? Do you have the rights? Do you have the rights? See, this is a is a completely government of India recognition. You can put it boldly on your board saying, Ministry of Tourism, Government of India, Incredible India, Bed and Breakfast, so-called establishment. Bigger board, whatever size you want. I don't think the rest of things will not happen. So, so the question is, there is a residential community. Now you have homestay, that is clear. The person is leaving. See, the challenge I have with, you know, when it comes to India is the clarity is very important. What government says, the municipality doesn't follow. What municipality says, the homeowner association doesn't follow. I'm not talking out of my hat. I'm talking about what we are going through. I've been part of a community for five years. And first thing I keep telling people is, follow the law of the land. Don't try to become some Taliban kind of a person in each community. We have those people. So first thing we lack is, we don't know what are the rules. Second thing we lack in a big way is, we don't follow the rules. We just don't follow the rules. So I have a real life example. I've been running this place as a homestay for four years. 
not a single advertisement, just word of mouth. No payment. I never ask for payment. I say that if you are part of family, why should I doubt you? You know how many people paid me? Hundred percent. You know how many how many of them paid after they went home? Most people after they left my place, they left me with gifts because I, I'm not doing it for money. Like you said, the the core of your presentation was that, which is what I really enjoyed your presentation because your heart is in the right place. India is also in the right place, but we need crystal clarity so that we don't get harassed by these people and don't don't blame me just because one Airbnb guy is doing a wrong thing. Don't put a black mark on entire homestay. You know, like, like this lady was saying, she's not doing it for money. A lot of us are doing it for to make a difference. We want to showcase India. We want to showcase what is Vasudeva Kutumbakam, what is Atidhi Devapawa. We are known for that. People, you know, you gave an example of foreigners, forget foreigners. I lived abroad for 10 years. The thing I miss most is come and do a train travel. I love that excitement. If I'm sitting in, you know, car in foreign, it's just like, you know, like a robot in a video game. There's no life. Life happens in India. So I would like that kind of crystal clarity support from the government of India. So I got your point. So uh, very good question. See, I know this is the point. I think that everyone was dapping. I think Allah wrote a question on Allah. So what I'm saying is, see, in Pondicherry, I don't think there will be any problem. We are from Arovind. So. Oh, okay. yeah. So now the problem comes. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so I know it's very difficult, you know. Uh, sir, there is also clarity, sir. There is a problem that takes Arovind. No man's thing happened in the village, the thing is horrible. No man's thing. No, no, no. Let me say Timilan. Let me say Timilan. So, 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 exactly. So, we, see, I, I look after the complete south things. So, Tamil Nadu is actually far, far better now. You know, there are good officers sitting there in the Tamil Nadu district. Well, see, I'm out of the way, not in the official way, I'm saying, now that you have started. The next point is, see, I have seen places like, you know, Kodekandal and Bo, uh, uh, Uti. Nobody can dare to harass people there running homestays, I'm telling you. Though there are illegal things happening there. Nobody. Because they have a so-called association and they take responsibility to ensure that everyone runs it properly with a proper license. And you know, all the police fellows are so-called harassment people that you're talking about. Very well know that these fellows are having their livelihood and they are doing the right thing. So they don't, they have to happen. So see, our way, I, I'm sure, you know, no, there are similar. So legally speaking, yeah. what you are saying is, the government of India, once I register here, is a legal authentication for me to run my post. 200 percent. 200 percent, see, you don't have to ask this question, I represent the government. No, I've seen the website. So, I've seen the website, but we have people in our own community. So, where so the listen, I'm asking. telling you, I have, I have got a random question. You know, there are small places, you know, where we go for home and say inspections. Like places like Urupi, Temple Town. Yeah. Urupi Lane or more, more kilometer we have to go. No, it's like harassment is for us from Ministry of Tourism. Muna I walk with the people, you know, book this thing registered in place called Kenya I have to go, you know, three days, train, bus, car, flight, and then reach that place with five of my members to do the inspection. How tedious is that? We are doing it. So See, the, the question of harassment will not come because, you know, see, it is a properly done thing. See, I'll tell you an example. One Chinna Urla, the same problem happened. You know, one police station fellow, as usual, I don't want to get into that. You know, so something happened and that fellow kept repeating emails and to me and asking this, 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 this. So we solved it very clearly. That fellow didn't know what it is. Though he might have known, he acted as if he didn't know. He wanted somebody, you know, from the central government to walk to his home and give all the documents and say, yes sir, we have all the documents, this is how we have to do. So he was telling literally that. He was saying, So we simply, what we did is, we sent a, a clear-cut letter to the higher body in the police department and we ensured that, you know, he, he, he got the information. So within a week, he went to the house, that fellow's house and gave the clearance. So I, I just want to say one more thing. Yeah. Uh, I don't want to say issues, but I want to go one step further. 
I'm here to volunteer. I came back to India to make a difference. Yeah. So I'm here to volunteer. I've done 70 countries in the world, and I can give you examples on different places doing tourism in the best possible way. I'm here to volunteer. So I'm looking to volunteer to the government of India. And you have mentioned so many things in your speech. You have hit bullseye on everything. You gave the example of mangroves. I don't know how many people have been to uh, Pichavaram here. How many? Can I just look at? It's much better than Sundarbans. You know, it's an amazing place. I just can't even believe. I've been there seven times. You know what is my challenge? I want to be honest with you. You know what is my challenge? There are two boat services which are running. And what they do is they give a ticket. And once you have taken the ticket and sit in the boat, then the corruption starts. That's not right. He says, sir, if you want to see the tunnel, I'll show you the tunnel. But there's not enough time. So please, if you give me a little extra, I'm going to do it. And this craziest thing is, I've taken my own foreign friends. And I've warned them before, this is going to happen. You know, India is changing. Be patient. We've come a long way. But when we allow things like that, that's where we lose it. I will, you have talked about man, uh, you know, mangrove forest in Pichu, that, that's a wonderful thing. Even in Pondi it is there. But everyone who comes to Pondicherry should visit that place. It's better than Sundarban. So we don't really appreciate what we have. So thank you for the speech and thanks for all the initiative. Thank you. Thank you, thank you so much. Thank you very much. Thanks for telling us. But sir, there's no comparison. Sundaram, uh, Sundarbans, Pichavaram, Arikamedu, all of them are beautiful mangroves. And I guess everybody here has gone to Pichavaram? Yes. Arikamedu? Yes. I Thank you so much. So we are happy that you are here to volunteer. I've asked our team to take your details. Yeah. So that we'll take your expert, uh, expert advice whenever we have something happening. Thank you so much. Good evening, sir. I have two questions. The first one is, uh, there is a difference between this gold and silver, right? Is it just a property classification or like, do we have any difference in benefits? Benefits are the same. It's only, you know, it's, it's, just a, a, property it's, a, class. it's a difference between three star, like, you know, three oh, star okay. and four star. Okay. One grade better. Mm. Gold will have bigger room space, bigger washroom just space. The properties yeah, it should uh, have, uh, you know, the internet, internet uh, uh, phone security, and all security. Yeah. Or, or it just takes like a higher grade. That's okay. all. And the second question is, uh, do these properties, even standalone property or for a community or for an apartment, do we need a commercial electricity connection or like residential? How does this classes like electricity? Local law. So it differs from place to place. Okay. We are from Auroville, uh, Tamil Nadu. Or I have properties both in Auroville and, and in Pondicherry. So actually, you know, in Pondicherry, I think there is no commercial uh, electricity okay. requirement. Okay. In most of the state, what we are advocating is home stays. It should not be commercial. Should not be. It should not be. Okay. But some of the states, you know, some states, it's like a uh, local panchayat. Okay. You know, those fellows so from the and they say, you know, yeah. Tamil Nadu have a huge problem actually. Yeah. So, so you have to tell them. Like, yeah. Demand harassment. So probably if you can address that also, would yeah. be So see again the problem is see in see one state, Pondicherry is a small place. Tamil Nadu, how many districts we have? How many local panchayat you want? You know, e even if I spend my lifetime to go and address each one of them saying that you know we have this, this, this. See, one thing is you are running an establishment. You have to tell them very clearly. See, if a panchayat has taken a decision that Anything that puts a board will be charged commercial. You have to change that uh, whatever rule of the panjai. You don't see. We advocate that any homestay establishment should not be charged commercial. So uh, as long as you are here, we are uh, so so that is a difference. Central government is a advisory body. State government enforces the rules. Okay, panjai rule lai yar local panjai does it. So, you know, so you, you can speak to the panchayat and tell them this homestay, this is not commercial hotel, this is now a room, I'm selling it, so you should not call, uh, charge me commercial. And then you can write a letter, we can, you know, take it to the official. This is our part now. Like, yeah. I, I want to understand that. Yeah, this is now our part. Thank, thank, you. You. thank 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 you. Uh, you know, uh, is my uh, friend. He is uh, representing the South Indian Hotel Association. Uh, so, so yeah, small point, sir. India, the law, the number, 
complicated. So one can interpret in their own way. So a uh, friend of the harassment, harassment in Sunanga. I, I can give you a small example of this since you were talking about Tamil Nadu also. I run a small place in Adyar in Chennai about eight rooms. So when, when the authorities came, you know, we displayed the, we, we didn't display any of the licenses. So we just, uh, we, we showed the MSME. How many of us uh, really registered with the MSME? Just by seeing that MSME certificate, people have gone, oh, okay, this is a legal entity and they are you know, controlled by some, some entity in the government of India or the Tamil Nadu. This is number one. Harassment, the police, it is not really harassment. They are also hard pressed for various other things. For example, uh, President of India visiting Auroville, Habina, and the vicinity in the area, all the stay the police has to take information. So you don't give the information that you are running an establishment. So how do you want them to work? So how the green the radar gate to under patha na? Then they, it is a surprise how you didn't tell you that that looks as an harassment for us. So it is a country's safety and there are other problems for the government officials. All police officials are harassment not under the law. Provided you have the crystal clear clarity when you the certificate that you are in a public area. So the land, see Tamil Nadu, any revenue comes in out of any establishment, the EB is charged as commercial. This is a rule. In the rule book, Panjayat or in the district collector, if you want the benefit on that, okay, Sarsunamari, it is logically correct. A home state should be charged on the uh, regular home uh, EB charges. Na, but if you have the revenue, the other law comes into the effect. So, if you have a problem, you have to represent the government. Proper represent How many of you all represent in the right way to the government? We wanted everything from the government, but are we spending any time to you know represent to the government? We don't do that. So all the all the people who are running homestays, they should go and no IAS officer will sign a file which lead to the loss to the government. In the IAS officer and the concerned secretary, we have to convince and get the GO issued so that this becomes legal. Emotional, he has to do that. EB, EB is under 19,000 crores loss. So, our problem getting our problem is So, everywhere it is not harassed. So, we also should support that. My humble request is that you all homestays have got a lot of future in the coming days, and government of India is trying to support you when you register with the government of India that your homestay is listed all globally. Not, uh, not regionally. So that is the major advantage and they give the lot of platforms to market it. So you should use the marketing platform as Sachin Tendulkar or example. So harassment is very, very winning. Okay. Everybody is feeling that I am harassed, harassed. So that's why we have legal and we have harassment. How many of you have one or two officers will be there? And we have to do a collective forum. Systematically represent to the escalated to the next level. Oh, school la pulle ke problem na orane per teacher ta pare. Teacher vande problem aur kabhi na principal ya administrator ta pare ke la. Aromar inge vande niye district collector ke mela yar me inge me paata dikhe ya. Including in Tamil Nadu or an investment of hotel years which is 300 crores, 500 crores investment into district collector ke mela yar me paata dikhe ya. Because district collector is not the government. Aur ke mela government ta kare the very process. And things can work, but we all have to use the government in a proactive manner and go to them, represent it in a proper way. Sirazame Nadaku, Sirazame Nadakar, Yellame, we all have a negative approach that the government Lapona Yedume Nadakar. No, it is not. It is, I will personally, in my experience representing the hotel lobby to various governments in South India, that I find the governments are better. And unfortunately, we don't spend any of our time for anything, but we wanted all our all the changes to happen in our business to make, for us to make money. This is my humble submission. So it is not harassment. So you, when you have the certificates, definitely or policeman will tell you, oh, the government of India recognized. He has to do his duty. He has to, he will be in trouble. So he has to take the list. Vice President will tell you, protocol will tell President will tell you, protocol will CM will tell protocol will tell you. There is a lot of intelligence report goes to all these officers, which they cannot explain to you why he is coming and searching your place. He don't need to tell you. 
So there are a lot of things, terrorism, a lot of things. So country has to move on with all these things and sometimes it can be transparent, sometimes it cannot be transparent. So I can't say anything about it. There are many things in the government. You can't say anything about it. You can't say anything about it. You can't say anything about it. So, so we also should support and definitely things are moving positively and you all have a better future with the home stays and original uh, example of the Choli Mudicha, right? When the Kerala Travel Mart happened, uh, first Kerala Travel Mart, I was there. I am very closely working with that. So, upon the, upon the, upon the Kerala Travel Mart, the president of the CGH group, or, uh, CEO, Mr. Joe Stowney. All of them, 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 होम स्टेज इन उकान दर ने टेबल स्पेस लो उकान दर दर बार आला उंगली बोले स्टेट मंगला रिका अदला होम स्टेज रिचिता वही फोड़ा कर पाते दर ये सेट इन पर बत्त बने जोशी तो नुन्ना डी होम स्टेज इस द फ्यूचर ऑफ इंडिया अब ये चले टा आवर पर्सनल आंग उकान दे आउंग होम स्टेज बतेरी � I request all of you to cooperate and register. Tamil Nadu at least 167 in the chair. I was proud about it. So you all should open your innings and register with it and there is a lot of benefits. Thank you so much. Thank you sir for your wonderful presentation. And uh, meanwhile, uh, I do have two questions. Will the government of India provide any subsidies to PNB or home stays? Oh, good question. Well, the hotels can be made to do that. So, subsidy is not there. You see, the home stay is in your home. One room extra is going to go to the room. Not for homes, let it be B&B or guest houses. B&B, I don't know. Home state is going to go to the B&B. See, B&B is more commercial. If you have a hotel, there is no hotel. Now, you have a hotel in the hotel. That's why there is a lot of state government. See, central government is going to go to the state government. State government is going to go to the state government. State government is going to go to the state government. State government is going to go to the state government. But, this is going to be a project. If you have a road investment, आउंगे कि सब्सिडी मारे कोई ग्राम सो सेंट्रल गवर्नमेंट ला एस ऑफ नाउ वी आर नॉट डिसेंट वन मोर क्वेश्चन सर इन द पास वी आर एट आईएफ विद वोयो एंड वी लॉस्ट ऑफ मनी सो वी डोंट नो हाउ टू अप्रोच इट वोयो मस्ट पे मी मोर देन थ्री पॉइंट सेवन फाइव लैस एंड दे आर स्टिल आर एस इयर्स दे आर नॉट अलोइंग यूज टू रजि� no way, they are getting affected. They are getting affected. No. But being from the government side, can you support us? Because there are many hoteliers affected by OIOS. Many hoteliers. All of this representation. Sure. Certificate update. There is an inspection process. अरे बोलिए राजकुमार यार ना लाओ राजकुमार बोलोगे तुम्हें ऐसा नहीं करूँगा 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 ऐसा नहीं करू Sila tu mana lah, ini ini okay. Biar tu orang di ekstra kan ini orang counter ni jadi biar tu orang panik lah. Ini tu state government. Ini mesti. Sir, RD is going to be there for tea with us. So, we are going to be there. Police problem. See, we are going to be there. See, we are going to be there. We are going to be there. We are going to be there. 
and the experiences is already there. You don't have to create some new experiences. You have to curate it and present it to the tourists in the form of storytelling or any other means, so that the tourist is happy. This is what you have to do. And as homestay owners, you have a lot of opportunities in this. Hotels cannot afford to give this experience. They'll be too busy in giving their whatever you know uh, service and you know with the staff that they have. But homestay, you know, you'll have a lot of time to interact with the guests who come and stay in your property. So I think uh, so we will be happy to associate with any anything. In fact, you know there are a lot of things that is going to happen. Ram and Vitra thing, Pongal Nariya program, which is going. I spoke to the secretary. We we want on the table. We want bigger festivals to happen every month. World class festivals, which should be an annual event, and people should recognize Pondicherry festival. In fact, you know, I was talking to yesterday with the minister. Maasi Madhavan was the festival that was going to be. But to actually, the moment it was so famous. Today, I think all our generation has forgotten that. It is something unique that doesn't happen. I can relate it to Madurai Kar festival, Aragar Koil festival. So something like that is happening, but you know, now we are losing our identity. That is very. Sad state of affairs. Now we cannot identify it because then we are forgetting every day by day. So we have to cash in all that. If we can do all that, everything will fall in place. There is a lot of things that is changing. India, Patwasha to Munadi, every day there is no killing. Patwasha to Munadi train like I am not able to travel there. I used to travel frequently, travel in train. But today, you know, experiences in trains have changed. And I am sure, you know, it's not certain government that is not doing that. But I am saying, you know, India is changing. There are 70% youth in this country who are wanting to uh, look for that change that uh, you know everyone be, that we are expecting now. So that change is yet to come. But Namula on the very path today, Ella Nadakon very path today, Nadakon very path today. We will also have to put our hands together to make it happen. Thank you. So talking of these annual events, with your support, we had uh, recently started something called the Kolam Festival, which we hope will become an annual event. A short video about the Kolam Festival, so everybody gets a little uh, refreshed before we go for tea. <laughs>
St. Lawrence Street. And uh, I fall in that slot that sir said, senior citizen, it was not made uh, uh, to for a guest house. It was made uh, for my children, for my family. It was a home where my children grew up. And then one by one, they all left. So uh, I share that uh, space with uh, those who like to come and stay here and happy to meet lovely people. I maybe would have never met such people in my life. Uh, but uh, I'm so happy to meet my guests, interact with them. And uh, uh, it's sustainable because it's a huge property which needs uh, uh, an income. So it sustains itself. And it also sustains me emotionally. So, breakfast every morning herself. Yeah. <laughs> and it's yummy delicious. Today morning we were happy. We'd like, just like to appreciate your efforts now and just felicitation from India to awesome. yeah. yeah. She cannot walk. She has a big She cannot walk. She is just had a leg injury. So we'd like to encourage young children, and uh, sir, I'm told that there is an intern from Indian Tourism. Oh, sorry, sorry. From Incredible India, we're giving this tourist facilitator badges, sir. So calling Mr. Lenny. Best photographs are already there by Arun and so many on the net. 
So let's start going to the Tenbakam uh, temple, let's go to the Ayana coils, let's go to Bahu, let's go to the ASI protected monuments, let's go to Arikamedu, let's go to eat Kamarakat, let's go to eat that uh, mutton samosas, let's go for Atkar Paya, go on foot walks, uh, do street shopping, brand shopping and move away. I'm not saying uh, the heritage four streets, but I think we have oversold the four streets, Gandhi statue and the Ai Mandapam. These are oversold. Let's move away from peaceful Puducherry to experience in Puducherry. Everything has a story to tell. So we are also trying to move away from the tagline of peaceful. No one wants for peaceful. No, now we are trying to say experience Puducherry, stories to tell. It may be pub hopping, it may be a morning uh, tour with Colum and KBS Coffee. It could be a rickshaw ride where we support the community of the dwindling rickshaw owners. And uh, we, as Sir said today morning, he's had extensive uh, discussions and we hope we'll have a lot of skill training programs um, collectively done with his support, the department and the corporation. As we wind up, uh, we, before the vote of thanks, Sir, I'd just like to say, because somebody who's been watching this for the last two hours, the government is on a big trip of transparency. Everything is online, digital, available, you just upload. I mean, you just upload everything here. It has to be both ways. Even we have to be transparent. No, we go on and say the government is harassing, harassing. How many of us are really registering? How many of us are making bills with GST? How many of us are declaring that we are doing a kind of a bed and breakfast? We have, I'm sure, more than 300, 400 bed and breakfast or homestays. But when we asked the list from the department, we had only 11 registered with the state. So it's not fault finding, but you know, it's nice, I like the slight recognition. Why we need the recognition? So it gives us a kind of a community, a kind of a forum, where when we have issues, we can collectively address it, like somebody brought up the issue of commercial electricity and all that. I'm sure the department and the government is going to have it in mind, and at a suitable time, things will change. We've come so far, and we'll go further. Let's all be positive about it and not go on criticizing. We've come a lot ahead. So I look forward to that. And uh, as Sir said, that curated experiences. Now the people people have seen the best of hotels. You've seen Obra, you've seen Leela, you've seen uh, the Taj. And every hotel is just like another. Of course, they have their own experiences. So now people are looking for bed and breakfast because these are curated personal experiences. It's like being with the local. If you go and stay in a bed and breakfast, you're literally sharing an experience with the local. And when a group like Taj has realized that, and uh, said that, you know, they are going to have these kind of, and they have enough uh, AMA stays. Yeah. I'm told that they are going to have 500 units of bed and breakfast in the, with the Taj group at the end of 2023. They are also looking at options in Pondicherry. Their team is scouting around and looking at properties which can get accredited. And uh, we are Pondi Tourism, and of course with another forum called, called Chennai, we are looking for, for partners. We look forward that you partner with us and we become a forum which is called Pondicherry where it is a fraternity of you may be a hotelier, you may be a travel agent, you may be an operator, you may be an academician, but if you all, I mean, we all become a collective forum of networking, growing and sol uh, problem solving together. So in case anybody would like to move ahead and be a part of this call or know what it is, I would request you to register your names with my team member, Rajita, here, and we'll come back to you. It's just a kind of, if you're interested to know what it is, and you Google it and you say, okay, maybe whatever Asha said made sense, then we'd like you to register and we'll come back to you. It's a forum where we can, I hope, take it, you know, create some kind of a solution together. And yes, uh, homestays are of collective social responsibility. We can't say that, you know, why this is happening in the next room, why this, you have to be transparent. We have to accept, we can't run a homestay on the sly and then say that people are not cooperating, our neighbors are not. You need to tell your society, yes, I'm doing a homestay and make them accept it. It's my side hustle, it's my home, I can do in that what I want, as long as I'm doing something legal. So please, let's exert our rights and then ask for our uh, benefits also. Thank you so much. And it's been a wonderful thing. Over to my colleague Padmavati, the assistant director from India Tourism Chennai, for the word of thanks. Thank you. Good evening, everybody. I'm Padmavati.
Assistant Director from Southern Regional Office. On behalf of India Tourism Chennai, I feel privileged to deliver this vote of thanks. Hope all of you have found this workshop that is sensitization program on BNB uh, informative as well as productive for all of you. Uh, for that, I would like to thank our Secretary Tourism and the Managing Director of PTTC and their team for excellent coordination and raising uh, the occasion. And I would like to mention one thing. This sensitization program is first of its kind in Puducherry. For making this event happen, I would like to thank our regional director, mainly. Thank you so much. Thank you, sir. Our uh, tea is ready for everybody in the first floor. Uh, legend? Am I right? Senator. We are, we are in the legend and we go to the senator for tea. We are also requesting for people who want to network, if you have travel agencies, travel operators. So if you have any brochures, anything, there are display areas in the first floor. Please have tea, network. And thanks again for being with us. Gratitude, Oruwa, and Dubai. Oh, oh, oh.